What is up, YouTube? And today, I'm going to be going through the top 100 songs of 2023. And this edition, we're going to have um, 89 through 90 edition. All right, at number 89, we have Proud of Me by Armani White. I love the singing on this song. Um, the verses were pretty good. The best off of the world of Calo Blasco. I mean, Calo Blanco, Casablanco, whatever, you, whatever it is. Uh, I think this is a great song that shows Armani White's skills, in my opinion. In fact, all throughout the EP, it shows his skills and the different types of styles he could rap on and the type of styles he could attack, in my opinion. Um, I do think it's worthy of the um, 89 spot for a project I actually really enjoyed the day it dropped. Um, up next, at number 88, we have 50 by Quando Rondo. In my opinion, one of the better intros that came out this year, in my opinion. Um, 50. Uh, Quantum Round gives you um, two good verses. I'm going to say they're great or anything, but the production is great in my opinion. It kind of takes a little bit too long to start up in my opinion. But um, This is a song I've listened to heavily. This is probably the mind most listened to off of that album, which I still think is underrated to this day. Um, but yeah, at number 87, we have Go Crazy by Gunna. This is the only... Well, maybe fucking me made the list. It's the only Gunner song, in my opinion, that I remember that made my list. Go well, Crazy is definitely the most played off of Gift and the Curse. Um, love the verse, especially that second verse. That second verse is amazing. Um, the, it gets a little bit on the personal side. Not too much, though. Where you can really, you'll be surprised. And he has this one line um, about a bitch. Uh, I'm sorry, a girl. Uh... Uh, there's just no clean way to say it. A bitch giving pussy to any player that's playing. Um, I'm not saying that's a clever line or anything, but it's kind of personal. Um, he also talks about, you know, girls and all that. In my opinion, um, I think it's a great production as well. Like, he kind of goes to the melodic side on the hook. Um, I think this is worthy of the 87 spot. At the 86 spot, we have Drop Top by ESTG. One more catchier hooks this year. The reduction is pretty standard for ESTG. Um, he kind of, he kind of goes into that more auto tuneish voice, in my opinion. Um, this is a pretty good song, in my opinion. One of the best off of that Mad album, and that's the word in my E6 spot. Number eighty five, we have Cold Killers by NBA YoungBoy. Um, definitely, like, I've been trying. Like at one point, Rob's obsessed with the beat of this. I um, like the intro when it goes like da 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 da. You know, I was I was I didn't even think about making a beat like that for myself, but um, I just couldn't figure out you know where this came from. It came from Cold Killers, my name Young Boy. Um, the beat is cold and crazy. Um, this is a great, great song, in my opinion. One of the best off of that 33 song album. It's still the longest album in terms of songs I've listened to this day. To this day, um, this is great, in my opinion. Real short as well. I think he gives you maybe two, two or three verses. I'm not sure, but you know, I think you should go check it out. Number 84, we got Legendary by DJ Drum. This is just incredible. Tyler, the creator, is really short. I wish it would have been more. Tyler, the creator, goes lyrical smiracle, and he's talking about flexing, and it's kind of a come-up story a little bit. And I like it when he goes to it. I like the outro of the song. Uh, it kind of has, like, his vocals, uh, like you'll hear on something like an Igor. kind of has those type of vocals and towards the outro. This kind of feels like I know DJ Drum worked heavily with Tyler the Creator. Don't call me, call me if you get lost. I haven't even listened to the album. And, you know the album review and stuff coming soon. I usually do that type of album reviews when I listen to the album. But anyways, um, this is a really good intro as well. The best song I can comfortably say off of the album. Uh, maybe my most played. I don't know. But I think we're gonna move on. At number eighty three, we got Games That Woman. Games Woman played by Young Blue. Now, people, when I go online and stuff, people don't really say too much about this Young Blue project. It's giving you more so a better melodic R&B. I mean, not melodic R&B, melodic rap, in my opinion. Uh, better than the NLE Chop with Alan uh, Conwell 2 that dropped that same day, in my opinion. Um, 
He's kind of talking about, he's kind of saying, I like his vocals are nice. I'm not saying the beat or anything is best. Is there any memorable lyrics? No. I can't even really tell you what the topic wise is. It's kind of your standard rap talk topic nowadays, but I think it's still a pretty good song, in my opinion. And number 82, we got Side Piece by T Grizzly and Skilla Baby. Um, when this dropped, I was impressed with the storytelling and the kind of the back and forth on the hook. Also, the uh, FSO live mic performance is actually very good. Blew it, like immediately. Um, I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that one a lot. The production was kind of alright, I guess, with the storytelling, and uh, it's the just the storytelling, the details about dating a girl, uh, both of them dating the same girl. It's not a topic that I would think of, and it's still good. Um, at number eighty-one, we have a hundred bars by Baby Tron. Um, I was impressed when this drop. You know, if one day I was just listening to the six album that Baby Tron drop. I was just impressed when this drop, in my opinion. Because Baby Tron, he counted to 100. He switched the beat up. I wa even watched the music video. I love that little part where the little character comes in and does, I think, the 51 line. Um, this is amazing, in my opinion. Uh, you really, really got to check it out. Uh, the final spot for this video, we got How You Lie by Trippy Red. This song, in my opinion, is very good. I love to sing it. One of the best. I love Love Letter to You 5. Uh, which, at this point, now when it dropped, it's still pretty good. Um, this was a really good song. I love to sing. Uh, the production is real calm, moody, and collected. Um, I do like this song. I do think it's one of the best off the album. And I think that's where the 80th spot is ending. You know, in this edition of the Top 100 Songs of 2023. See you.